What is a palette knife and what's it used for? Let's find out. Welcome back everybody. Today's video is all about a palette knife. Palette knives. I have one but they are available in many sizes and shapes. This is the one I have because I use it mainly for mixing my paints and sometimes I will use it for painting with. But what actually is a palette knife? Mainly they've been used by builders in the building industry to spread cement on their bricks. It gives a smooth, even surface. But artists have been using them for many years too. It is a handle. And this one is by Le Franc Bourgeois. And it then has a kind of shovel on the end. And it's flexible. You can bend it. So it isn't like a knife that is rigid and doesn't bend. This bends and goes back into the shape so that you can push it on your paper and you can get the shape of it with the paint like that. So a bit like stamping. You can spread like spreading butter. You can put it on the side and scrape. You can put it on the tip and dot and it bounces in a way and goes back into shape. You have seen it on my channel but we haven't really used it. So just using the Schmink Academy gouache because that's what's to hand and I've got most of because it is tubes of 60 and again that's on 60 mils that is not sets of colours you can find the videos on my channel so what I did I just opened the tube and with the palette knife kind of the underneath of it just stroke it onto the neat gouache and then just lay it down and push on the tip a little so that it curves and lift up. And can you see it's left a pattern? And just fair warning, we might end up going into a time lapse. Make sure it's quite smooth. On, and you can turn your paper if you want to it's easier just push on it and lift up and it's fun really just to learn to make patterns and the paint can kind of squish underneath it and just push firmly up and down that, that left a bit of a mark because we didn't put our paint back on but that was easily rectified Most artists will use this for acrylic and oil paint because it, um, it leaves texture. If you're doing impasto, which means thick, it will leave texture paint behind basically. So when it's dry, you can rub your hand all over your artwork and you'll feel the texture underneath. And we're just messing around, not actually making any art here I'm just showing you but you could if you're clever kind of make a flower but that's a bit like a snowflake isn't it a red one and then when the paint is completely dry kind of thing we can do this and that's an interesting effect for foliage or gravel or rocks and talking of rocks 
This isn't a rock colour, I know, but well, we're using it as an example. So basically, I picked up some paint using the front of the trowel and tapping it down and then I'm kind of mixing because I use mine for mixing paint. So we pick it up and drop it like we would if we're with cement in the building industry. You pick it up, drop it, pick it up and drop it and you then push the paint into itself. So you scrape it up, bash it down and smooth it out. So scrape it up, bash it down and smooth it out. Like that with the base. And then what you can do is turn it onto the side and scrape. And you get that lovely awful noise. <laughs> but basically what um, my paint is a little bit because I'm using it direct from the tube. Um, I'm just going to stick it onto my mat here because I did have a problem with them having too much liquid. So I just squash it on my chopping board here. Now we're going to go into a time lapse, by the way. So you can see guys that I'm just mixing the paint in the corner of the chopping board and then I'm spreading it thickly all over the area of that paper. Just that corner, as thick as I can and when I've let it dry a little I'm going to be going in with the palette knife on the side after I've done some other techniques and I'm going to scrape on that big area of paint and it's going to leave the texture that you get on rocks and it's a very fun technique I use a tissue at the end of my painting session and wipe my palette knife. It's much cleaner and easier than having a paintbrush in water. Just wipe it with tissue and that's it. And we're finished. I do love all of the techniques from one palette knife. Dots, scraping, lines, and these little kind of flower petal from the hole of the little shovel. And then this is from using half of the little shovel. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope this has been informative. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.